Yes. Hello friends, welcome to Coding Garden with CJ. In this roughly 10 minute video, I'm going to attempt to solve this code kata uh, in as many ways as possible. In many, as many ways as possible. So this is called, if you can't count sleep, just count sheep. So uh, you are given a non-negative integer, for example, the number three, and you must return a string with the murmur. One sheep, two sheep, three sheep. So, uh, and, the, and it says the input will always be valid and there are no negative integers. So. We're given a number, we need to create a string that repeats and counts up the number of sheep. Great. All right, I have here my function count sheep. I have a couple of console log tests. Right now, my function doesn't return anything. It's returning undefined. Let's fix that. Um, I think the, the most basic way to solve this would be potentially with a for loop. Let's solve it with a for loop. Um, and actually, I'm going to write some pseudocode. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say um, we need uh, a place to store the the string itself, so the thing that we're building up, right? We need to create a string that has one sheep, two sheep, three sheep inside of it, so we need a place to store that. Uh, we then need to iterate up to the number provided, right? So we need to we need to loop. We need to go one, two, three, four, all the way up to whatever is provided. Um, if it's one, we go up to one. If it's three, we go up to three. If it's a million, we go up to a million, but we need to iterate up to that number. And then for every single number, uh, we need to append to that uh, result string. So uh, append um, like i sheep or like current number sheep to the result string. Um, and a few dots after it. Hey, Rosh, uh, Rarsat Beards. Thank you for that Twitch Prime sub. Uh, there is sound. Stop, Ems. We're in the middle of YouTube content. You can't interrupt me with YouTube content. In the middle of YouTube content. You've already interrupted. Look, we've already wasted two minutes. Stop it. Um, okay, so append the current number with sheep to the result string. Uh, we'll also need to append uh, dot, dot, dot. And then at the end of it all, uh, we are going to um, current number sheep, right? And then we need to return the result string. Okay, so if, if you're new to coding and you've never solved problems like this before, this is a good way to approach it. Basically, you break it down into the steps in, in human readable terms, and then we can now turn these steps into code. But what I'll show you is there are many different ways to turn these steps into code. So first, we need a place to store the string. What that means is we need a variable. So I'll say and it needs to be a let variable because we're going to reassign it. And let's just call it result, and we initialize it to the empty string. So we start off with nothing, and then we're going to build it up. We need to iterate to the number... Uh, provided, not provider, <laughs> provided. And so in this case, we're going to create a for loop that um, <laughs> we're going to create a loop that goes from uh, one, because we need to start at one, and we need to go up to the number itself. So we're going to start i at one. We use i because uh, we use i. I don't know. We could use another variable. <laughs> but we're going to go while i is less than um, or equal to number, right? So if it's one, do it. If it's two, do it. And if num was three, if it's three, do it. But when uh, i becomes four, don't do it. So less than or equal to number. Um, and then i plus plus. And actually, I'll update my pseudocode. So iterate up to the number, up to and including the number, right? Up to and including the number. Cool. Um, so we're gonna we have a loop. This is gonna tell us each individual number value, and then we need to append that to the string. So we'll say result plus equals. Um, we need to create a string that says uh, the current number i, and then sheep dot dot dot. And are there space? Yeah, there are no spaces between. So one sheep, two sheep. So that I think this actually should do it. Um, and then we return the result string. There we go. So we get one sheep, one sheep, one sheep, two sheep. Uh, oh, we're missing a space, right? So uh, our output is missing the space between the number and sheep. So we need to put a space right here. All right. Space before sheep. And I think we've done it. Uh, just to test, I'm going to run my code on Code um, code Wars. And if it passes, then we're going to write it in at least, at least two more ways. We have five minutes, but at least two more ways. So I'm going to do a quick test. Pass. Great. So... Uh, like I mentioned, we have this pseudocode, but there are, there are more ways to do it. Um, I think the first way I'll show you is um, actually with our existing solution, but instead of a for loop, um, we could use a, a while loop. Let's do it with a while loop. That could be fun. So uh, instead of a for loop, we're going to say uh, we basically need i outside of the loop. So we'll say i equals 1, and we'll say while 
And to convert a for loop to a while loop, you really just take this condition and you put it on the while, like that. And then um, you take this thing that's usually at the bottom of the for loop and you put it inside the while loop like this, and then that goes in there. And uh, if we've done everything correctly, it works. <laughs> So it's it's slightly different. Um, instead of having, because a, a for loop allows us to define all three three things. We have our initial value, we have our check that happens on each loop, and we have our, our increment that happens on each loop, right? And uh, we're doing the same thing, but now we're doing it with a while loop, and the result is the same. Great. Uh, the other thing I'll show you, which is, I mean, it's it's basically the same way to solve it, but instead of doing string concatenation here, we could do uh, a template literal. So let's change that. So right here, instead of saying i plus sheep, so that's number plus sheep, it's, it's creating a new string that's the combination of that number and that string, uh, we can use what's known as a template literal. So we use backticks instead of uh, single quotes. And then if we want to represent a variable inside of that string, uh, we wrap it in curly braces and put money in front of it, uh, and this will do basically the same thing. So one sheep, two sheep. Uh, it's it's a slight it's a slight refactor, but it's about the, about the same. Um, I guess another thing I'll mention is that instead of um, instead of starting at one, typically you see for loops starting at zero. So we could start at zero, but then we would not want to go less than or equal. We would want to just go less than, and instead of just doing i, we would do i plus one. So this solves it in the same way, one sheep, two sheep, three sheep, but instead of starting the loop at zero, we started at one. Great. Um, that's awesome. So uh, that's that's like the for loop way. Let's try to do it with array methods. So instead of a, uh, a loop, I'm going to create an array of the length number, right? So uh, here's what we'll do. We'll say uh, array.from, we can pass it an object, which is an, an array-like thing that has a length property. So this is going to create um, an array of that given length, right? So we're, we're cre basically creating a list. Um, and actually, don't, uh, it's, it's kind of going to be a one-liner, so <laughs> just bear with me. So create an array of the length that we need. Um, the interesting thing about array from is that it accepts a callback method, uh, and you get the current value. In this case, the current value is going to be undefined because every value inside of that array doesn't exist because we're creating it from nothing. Um, and so we'll we'll use underscore, which just because we don't we don't care about it. We could call it anything, but we're going to call it underscore. And then we get i, and i is going to be zero, one, two, three. It's going to be the index itself. Um, and this method here gets invoked um, uh, for each value that we're trying to create. And actually, I do need, I do need, I do need result. This will actually work this way. So, uh, and if I say let result start off as an empty string, uh, this will do the same thing. So here's what happens. Result starts off empty. We're creating an array that's going to be this length. And then this function is basically like a map function. I'll show you map in a second. But this function will get called on every single value. And then we are appending uh, the result itself, which is great. So that's nice, uh, but let's actually use map instead. I mean, technically, you if you were going to do this, you would probably do this instead of a map because th this is a bit more optimized because it runs this function um, while it's creating the array, whereas a map would create the array and then, then iterate. But we got a minute and a half, so let's do a map. So basically, I would just do this. Um, so create the array. Now we have an empty array of, of values that are undefined. Um, and then we want to map it, and that's going to give us each uh, value, which is undefined. But we also want the index, because then we can do something like this. Um, and so that's going to be uh, the specific number of sheep at that place. Here we go. So map it. And then uh, now this actually, so if I return this, I'll show you what we get. If I return this, we get an array that has the values inside of it, but I want to turn that array into a string. So I could just do something like this. I could do dot join and pass in the empty string, and that's going to take that array and smack it together back into the result. Great. Uh, and then uh, what, we have 47 seconds, so the last thing I'll do is a reduce. So um, we create the array, and then instead of mapping and then joining, we can do it all in one go with a reduce. So we're going to do a reduce. We have our... Uh, let's call it result because that's our accumulator. It starts off as an empty string and then we just return a result plus that value And then we don't need the join anymore and this should work So one sheep one sheep two sheep one sheep one sheep two sheep three sheep. Uh, we have 20 seconds What can we do in 20 seconds? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think we're gonna stop it there <laughs> Uh, thank you all for watching. Let's see how many ways we solved it. So first, we solved it with pseudocode, which is not a programming language. So we have one, 
We have two, we have three, we have four, we have five, six, seven, eight, roughly eight different ways to solve the problem. Um, and yeah, so somebody was like, hey, what happens if you do, uh, let, let's just see if we pass in a really large number. It should work. We, we, have, we have written this function in a general enough way that no matter, no matter, we should pass in. No, there is no space. There is no space. So there should not be a space between the values. So we do need to pass in an empty string, not a space. Um, okay, but let's just try logging uh, count sheep with 100. And look at that. One sheep, two sheep, three sheep, four sheep, five sheep, six sheep, seven sheep, eight sheep. And it just it keeps going on and on. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. This was what? I, I'll go count again. Was it nine ways? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-ish different ways to solve the problem. Uh, hopefully, this was fun and useful for you. Yes, this is technically YouTube content. You, you you saw the thumbnail. You clicked the video. You watched to the end if you're hearing me say this. Thank you for tuning in. Everyone say bye, YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, YouTube. And I'll also mention, uh, if you like this kind of thing, uh, tune in every Wednesday here on The Coding Garden. Uh, I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Coding Garden. And you can be a part of all these wonderful people that are watching live and telling me how I should solve things um, instead of just, just watching. Just watch. I don't know. Bye. <laughs>